girl from the North Country is getting ready to bow on Broadway. We're here at the Bitter End to talk to the cast and creative team all about making an original story featuring the music of Bob Dylan. There's a snow. It's a show which is really inspired by the music of Bob Dylan. It has, I guess, like over 20 of his songs in there, and it tells the story of a family in the 1930s uh, during the Depression, and they have this guest house and all these people that are living there and coming through there. It kind of feels like finally, the, the you know, the world is going to get a chance to see this piece because at the public. Um, it, we had a limited run and a lot of people didn't get a chance to see it. We just love the show. You know, from day one, I remember reading the script and just like falling in love with it. I think that Broadway deserves something like this because it's super special and I'm happy we get to share it. It is a play with music as opposed to a musical, if you will, and the difference being that each song takes the audience into the soul of a character as opposed to sort of deliver a plot line. So many of these songs, you won't even realize you're listening to a song that you actually know what the song is right. because it's rearranged and, and, and rethought. Getting to like internalize Bob Dylan's music, I mean his, his music is already so emotional and deep and poetic, but getting to come at it from like a dramatic perspective and you know really make it part of a character and like live it, it's incredible. The songs are allowed to be in pieces because the poetry expresses so much. It's, they're sort of the, what fills the silence between these people who are trying to make it out through the depression together. All of his like eras of life, honestly to me, like as like in a nerdy way, kind of make him the perfect music theater composer. He makes brilliant, like thoughtful, insightful songs about universal truths. They just pertain to people in the depression and people nowadays and like, I just feel like that's why people are gonna love it because they're gonna hear these songs reimagined and go, okay, that, I understand that now, today, in the world we live in. I think everybody that comes out is gonna take something really personal. I think theater always has to take you inside yourself. That's what I think. It should create a kind of a communal trance, but everybody's kind of in a different trance, you know? The spiritual aspect of the show that, pe that we feel as cast members every day in rehearsal and that the audience feels as well. There's something very special about this show, something very different, and I know that the audiences are gonna come and they're gonna feel that same exact thing. Connor's already amazing and he's created this wonderful world in Duluth. And, and to pair that with Bob, it's just, it's a spiritual experience for us and like hopefully for everyone as well. It's really good, y'all. Yeah, it's really it good. is good, it is good. <laughs> <It's really> good. <laughs>